all right guys good morning this is the following day and we are right here the place that we are right now is called wandi and uh, there's a special story that is coming up here from wandi that i'll be telling you in a few but at the moment i'm trying to locate the place where this lady or girl comes from and uh, my mind tells me it's here so i hope i won't get lost but uh, i think it's it's here yeah we came here and my mind tells me it's here i just hope we won't get lost but then um wow i hope it's here so what's up guys welcome back to the channel thank you so much for clicking yes it's right here it's here we are not lost it's here thank you so much for clicking it's a pleasure to see you and uh, there's nobody here this is the house this is the house guys this is where the lady stays because the school is right over there that's the school where she goes and we sat under this tree with everybody else so let's knock and see wow that is the door i i thought i would get lost but i didn't so, yeah see me i think someone is in yeah so let's hope it We sat under these trees. We sat under the here. So let me put my things here. How are you? Hello. You fine? I'm looking for Gertrude. Wait, is she around? Is that she? Yeah. A girl? Yeah. Where is she? She is a maid in our home. She's a maid at your home? The one who stays here? The small one. The, le the girl who stays here, the one who stays with her aunt. They took her back. They took her back? Yes. To where? To their home. When? Before Christmas. Before Christmas. She hasn't come back yet. Her aunt said that she's not going to come back. Why? Because she's too stubborn. Too stubborn. So she's not coming back. So she left after schools were closed or before schools were closed? After schools were closed. After schools were closed. Yes. That's when she left. Did she go to school? Yes. Where was she learning? In intensive care. Yeah, intensive care. Yeah, that's true. Alright, so is the aunt home or she went for work? But uh, of the other side. So she's not here. Every time she could sleep outside, then her auntie said that even they can, they, they will take her, those boys, and those boys, those border waters will come beat her, but still she cannot improve. She was taken to the border boys, the border guys to beat her. Yes. Wait. The aunt took, them, took her to the border to beat her. Yes. But she, still she didn't improve. Yes. So the aunt decided to take her home. Yes. Do you know where the home is? Where, where is her home? Did she ever give you stories of where the home is or she didn't? I just know their tribe. But that, which tribe does she come from? Aringa. Aringa? Yes. Do you know of Aringa? I have heard about that. But where are they? Really. I need to ask Viola. So is it around this area or it's far away? It's, mm. it's a district. That is her aunt. Oh, the aunt is here. Yes. Sonia, yes. how are you? Good afternoon. Fine. Thank it's you. a pleasure to see you. Nice to meet you. Nice. I came knocking on your door. I thought you were in. Mm. Okay. Wow. It's alright. What's your name? Olivia Emanuela. Emanuela. Yes. You also learn at intensive? Yes, I'm still a newcomer. 
Oh, you're a newcomer. Yeah. Which we uh which class are you? P? P7. P7. Oh, you are a bright girl. I'm sure you study well. Okay. Where do you come from? Me. Yeah. Um I'm just from Terego. You from Terego? Yes. Where do you live around here? There I live there with my grandma but the the big house over there. Yes, I used to stay to my father mm -hmm. in Vara. Uh -huh. Used to stay with your father mm. and your mom. My mom is in Kampala. Okay. All right. Thank you. You say you are Emanuela. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Maybe I'll meet you before I leave. It's all right. Oh my goodness! Sonia has placed us some seats here. Thank you. I'm shocked. <laughs> Not more than I do. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me just wipe this. Oh my goodness. Where should I sit? Oops, let me sit here. So dear, happy new year. How has the year been? Or how has it started? Really? <laughs> you look tired. Has it really started well? <laughs> Do you even recall me? <laughs> yeah. Suppose you met me out there, would you have recognized me? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> You're fine. I'm happy to meet you. Yeah. So, hey, the boy has grown. It's really good. Where's the younger one? Oh, are the neighbors? Yeah. Okay, it's fine. So, the lady, I was asking for Gertrude, and the lady has just briefed me about Gertrude that Gertrude went home. What, what? What happened? I'm shocked. <laughs> yeah, she went home. Where is home? It doesn't Yumbe. Yumbe? Yeah. Okay. There's a place called Dugodonga. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where the home is. Okay. She left after home days like this, yeah. She told me she was going to home. Day. So I had to send her. And he, again, she was, she was very stubborn. She became stubborn? Very stubborn. Mm. Even that's even why I sent her to go for home days. Hi. 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 <laughs> so is she coming back or she's not coming back? Even now, uh, I heard that he's staying with the auntie, the side of the mother. Where? And where our place is, is a bit far. Mm -hmm. And now there's no communication. What? So instead of... So she went home to the mom or to the dad? Because I know that they were separated. Yeah. So where did she go? To the mom or to the dad? She went to the aunt. The side of the mother. Because the mother is married to another mother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even the mother wanted her to come back. But I don't know what is on her mind. So she's currently staying with the with the yeah, with the aunt. Yeah. What of school? Does she want to go to school or she doesn't? I don't know now. Cause the times when there she was telling those people that they are mistreating her, what what? When she went to school, or when she went to the place where she is currently? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that is, she doesn't want to come back. Maybe that's why she's saying all that. Maybe. What? And she was very stubborn. That we had a boyfriend here. Uh -huh. That's why she was, even she could pretend that uh, I'm going for studies here. Uh -huh. That we will not, we will not go here. We will Wait. Go the book. This is the house and this is the school. Yeah. She would leave the house and not get to school. How many meters are these? This is less than two or one. I heard she will not. She can take book and go and hide the book. 
went somewhere else. So you not go to study. I wish I could meet I wish I could meet Gertrude. Hey. She's lucky I haven't I met her. I was really very disappointed. I was even stressed. I wish I met her. Okay. Really? Even the boyfriend had to be her at home. I was not knowing, because here I have a maid. Mm -hmm. So, they were using that phone. I thought what was for the maid. I even asked the maid. Uh -huh. She was like, ah, this is my phone. But uh -huh. it was for Gertrude. Gertrude was using that phone. Is the man around in this area or... <laughs> what does the man do? Nothing. Border guy or what? Not a border guy. Uh -huh. Sometimes we go and leave for people to get money. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I was very stressed. No, there's a time for the buzzing. There's a time for the buzzing came. I think you told for the buzzing yeah, too. Yeah, I told I told him even came here advice got it, but she never seems. Father even came up here. Try to talk to get it. Now you both should advise. Myself, I found Gertrude. We met her to Riajini. And uh, <laughs> Gertrude had not gone to school since COVID ended. And uh, she had that passion. She looked like someone who had passion in um, going to school. So I decided that if this lady can go to school and she really wanted to go to school, I'll take her to school, back to school. And then at first I thought of taking her to a boarding school. But then I didn't because my days when I met her, I had like uh, two, two to three days remaining for me to leave. So it was very hard for me to get a school where I could admit her. So I decided to settle for this one because it's next to the place and also it's an academy. Being that she was behind and everything, the academy would have uh, uh, like worked on her better than. Um, primary school. Otherwise, maybe she would have gone to Oriajini Primary, but then she didn't. So, I, she settled here. And, uh, <laughs> just give it. So, I, she settled here, and I, even, uh, I was in communication with the aunt, though at times I would call her and she doesn't pick. At times I would call her and she tells me I'm busy, call later. If I call later, then there's nothing, no response. So I was working with the head teacher and we got her everything, like a new admission. We got her basically everything for her to go to school. So I was in contact with the teacher until over the holiday, the headmaster of the school. And I'm also supposed to meet him. So guys, here, that is the school, that is the school. So I got in contact with the headmaster and everything and I was supposed to even uh, have extra coaching for her over the holiday because she was very very behind but then the headmaster never got back to me because I was supposed to select two teachers who were supposed to coach her over the holiday so I used to call the headmaster or the head teacher and tell me her progress everything and the fee uh, I was paying the fee directly to the school I think just at one point when uh, the fee was given to the aunt and the aunt took it to school. But the one that remained I cleared uh, directly with the headmaster. So I asked the headmaster, the headmaster told me she's progressing well, she was good at math, uh, but uh, what was giving her challenge was uh, reading, be that she didn't know English that well. But that is also one of the reasons why I took her to an, the academy, so she can know how to speak English, you know and also read so since the schools were closed i haven't gotten in, in touch with the headmaster and the headmaster didn't come back like give me information regarding uh, the teachers who are supposed to coach her so i said it's fine i'll be going to uganda soon but personally i was supposed to come here christmas was supposed to find me here but i didn't manage to come over for the holidays actually i think either 19th or 20th i was supposed to be here but I got held up. 
Then I pushed it to beginning of January. I also got held up. That's why I came late January when the month is almost ending. So to my shock, I'm very surprised to hear that Gertrude is not around. She went back to, I don't know, whichever place. Because I know she doesn't, the parents are separated. The, the mother remarried, the father also is in a different place. So she's someone who is just uh, wandering. M living, she lives here, she goes to the next place. She has no place that she can settle because she can't go live with the mom because the mom got remarried elsewhere. The dad also, I think, maybe remarried elsewhere. So she can't live with either of the parents. That's why she was living with the aunt here. That's why I also said it's better if she can go to school, maybe after school, if even if she perseveres and, and um, gets up to, it's called primary seven, then we can take her to me to a vocational college where she can do something, you know, because of her age as well. But then now I'm surprised. I even don't know what to do. Maybe people can advise me. What can I do? <laughs> it's really a shocking news indeed. Yeah, sure. I didn't expect it, but I can't see mm -hmm. what happens with really. it. Oh, here is the results. Let me see. Was she promoted or...? She or? was promoted to people. English 23. Mathematics 44, literacy 30, reading 66. Oh, really? Religious education 22, total 185. <clears throat> so, which one is mid term? End of year, okay, term three. So, she improved actually from 176 to 185. You know, she joined, she joined uh, in term three. Since 2020, she hasn't been in school, right? Yeah. So this was her first time getting to school since 2020, when COVID broke. So it was her first time going back to school. And somehow, I think these results are impressive because if she positioned 20, 20 what? 22. 20, uh, in midterm, she was positioned 23 out of 25, then positioned 22 out of 26. At least she tried, you know. Because she hasn't been in school for how many years? 2020, 20, 1, 2, for 3 years. And then she goes back and gets this. This is promising to me because I think there's still room for improvement. And if the head teacher had given me the two teachers to coach her over the holiday, I think somehow she would have, we should have started catching up, you know. But then now I don't know what to do. Sonia, what should I do? This is your, this is your, 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 how do you call her? Your niece. Yeah. What should I do? Because personally, I really wanted to get to, to get to school. Hmm. <laughs> Advise me on what to Even do. Even me, I'm confused. Uh -huh. I really wanted her to go back to school. And personally, Getro was the main reason for me, uh, was the main reason for my coming to Arua. Yeah, that's why I came to Arua. I was supposed to go to Mool and Kitkum direct, but I passed here purposely because of Getro. <laughs> it was even the reason why I sent her. Uh -huh. That way they had planned with their friend. Mm -hmm. Because they, I heard that the boyfriend is staying in Tosin, so I'm Mali. Mm. So she had planned with her friend mm. to go to Mali, to go and meet that man. Mm. <laughs> the same man who is coming from here, or a different one? I heard that he, he went there to do some work. Okay. Some garden work. <laughs> so God had planned to uh, get married. Uh, Age. <laughs> At 14? Yeah. yeah. She's 14. But I know that's the age of adolescence, you know. Yeah. 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 And uh, it's adolescence that is driving her that way. So I said that maybe when her first go for all this, maybe she will change. But do you see possibilities of her coming back? But now I don't have any communication with her. Even the mother, I don't have communication with her. The mother doesn't have a number. Doesn't have a phone. A phone. Yeah. Is the mother aware of her, the, the, her these ways that 
whatever she has developed. All these stories is the mother aware of it. Yeah, she was aware. Last time I bought my mother was like, yes, she met with the mother. The mother was like, she wanted her to come back. Because oh. now the way she came here, she was not like that. Mm -hmm. I'm helping her, she has changed. Why is she saying that I'm mistreating her? The mother wanted her to come back, so I don't know what is on her mind now. Well, I don't know what to do. Maybe you guys can advise me. I don't know. Because to communicate with her is very hard. I'm speechless, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so last time father called me, I told, uh, I told him this thing, it was like I should try a way to talk to her. Father called when uh, she had left? Yeah. When did she leave exactly? Which date? I think on 5th of December. 5th of December? Yeah. That is immediately after closing. Mm. Hey. I don't know. I don't know what to do. So, what do you people think? Should I pull out? Or what do you people think? Should I stop? I just let her be wherever place she is, or maybe go look for her, or what do you think? What do you think as the end? Should we just call it the end? She she goes her separate ways, does whatever she wants to do. Or should we? What do you think? It's two options. We let her be or we look for her. What do you think? You've stayed with her, you know her. <laughs> Maybe we should give her a second chance. <laughs> I give her a second chance. Yeah. How am I going to find her? If you yourself not in communication <laughs> with her, how am I going to find her? Because suppose I knew the place, maybe I would have gone. But then how am I going to find her? Because I think maybe if she's found, then the best thing is to take her to a boarding school. Mm. Or if she doesn't want to learn. Yeah, if, re if I could meet her, I could ask her if she wants to go back to school or if we can stop, you know. Mm -hmm. If she says she doesn't want, we can stop, I forget about everything, you know. <coughs> but now finding her is the issue. How will I find her? If she wants to learn, then maybe take her to a boarding school. But she might even sneak out of school. <laughs> where, where, where does the two friends stay? The ones that she was, she was with that day, the two girls. The two girls. Yeah. But that is here. She has a lot of friends. One was even here when we were talking. Remember when we came and sat hey, here? Yeah, the other lady. Yeah. Oh, I wish I could meet her. Is she home? I wish I could meet her. There were three when uh, when we met them. He can call her. Okay. Guys, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you can advise me. But in the meantime, you can brainstorm and tell me what to do. I never expected this. But it's fine. I don't know. I don't know what to do sincerely. <sighs> Have you seen her? Oh, there she is. What was Emanuela, come. That's the lady that we met. Guys, I'm leaving. I'm disappointed. <laughs> I'm very disappointed. I even feel like crying. <laughs> but it's fine, it's fine.
So, how have we concluded things? Maybe you can say, how have we concluded? Decided to give a second chance, then the aunt to look for her within three days, and then they should give us the feedback if there's a second chance, and then you're ready to. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. So guys, that is it. We have told the aunt to, the aunt has said we give her three days to look for her. If she's found, I'll ask her if she wants to go to school. If she doesn't want to go to school, then we call it quits. That is the end of everything. Emanuela, yes. come. Where were you learning before? I've loved this girl because she's speaking very fluent English. So do I. Yeah, <laughs> she speaks very nice English. Where were you learning before? I was learning in Agape. Where is Agape? In Vara. Oh, Vara. in Vara. That side of town. When did you come to intensive? Just this year. This year? Oh, so you also saw Gertrude going to intensive? Is I used to study there and then I just come here at the end of Statham okay. to meet my grandmother. Yeah. Okay. And then Gertrude came here last year mm -hmm. and even she was my friend, we used to play with them here, mm -hmm. everything we used to do together. I even came surprised Then they told me that she was doing all those, those things. Mm -hmm. Did you see her do it or...? Uh you overheard. Did you see her do or you overheard? I overheard. Yesterday when we were at when we were in class, a girl asked my friend who that friend of mine told her that Gertrude told she had over the stage there that Gertrude Gertrude was pregnant then they told her. Then this girl said heart. no she's not pregnant just because of her stubbornness they took her. Okay. So does, does your friend also go to school? The one who is washing? Yes. Which grade? Which class? P7. P7. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that... Can I talk to her? No, she says she will not talk to people. <laughs> Why? Why? She has cameras or she's afraid she's of She says she is afraid because any time they will take her to court or what. She, she was even <laughs> warning me while I told you all about this. <laughs> really? So... <laughs> She thought she could be taken to court because of Gertrude. But do you think it's true? Do you think that whatever is being said is true about her? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Mm, I just think it's because of her stubbornness. Because last year Gertrude was telling me, Emanuela, will you go to dance? I said, oh, if I go, my father will even not pay my school fees. Mm -hmm. Because ever my father is warning me in P7, if I will not get first grade, mm -hmm. he's not going to pay my school fees. Mm -hmm. So you think it's true she had a boyfriend, she was going out for dance? I think it's true because the way she was talking to me. Hmm. Wow. Wow. Did she, what of school? Was she going to school regularly or she was skipping going to school? I've not been here. I just came. You said she's, you were learning at uh, intensive. Yes. When you were there, she, she joined the inter intensive last term. Were you there in the intensive last term? No. Oh. I've ju I just started to go in school yesterday. Oh, to go here yesterday. So you're going to join afresh here, mm -hmm. as from Monday. Mm -hmm. So you are a newcomer. All right. Oh, Jesus. I wish that lady... But the lady knows more about Gertrude, right? Your friend. You said that girl, also she's called Gertrude. She's going to tell her not to speak anything. <laughs> but they know about her, right? It's okay. I can just go try. Let me go try my best. Yeah. Let's okay, go. But I like to go. They will say I'm the one who said. I don't go. They'll say the one who said. They won't okay. say a thing. It's fine. We don't want to put her into trouble. All right. Let it just be. So it's fine. Um. I don't know. Am I coming back here soon? Am I really coming back here soon? I don't know. Where is your home? Is your father, you said you were staying with your grandmother. Mm. Okay. Does your grandmother have a phone? All right. Is she home right now? She's managing a hotel. Not a hotel, but a, just a small restaurant. Or has. Mm. Where is it? They're at the marketplace. At the marketplace. Yeah. Okay. Can I, can I get to her? Or you'll have a problem with that? 
You don't have a problem. Can, what does your father do? My father is a farmer. Your mother? My mother does not do any work. What does she do in Kampala? Just so last year she was there as a maid. Mm -hmm. Then she got a child, and then, but still she was doing that job. And right now she said, she, even I talked with her yesterday, mm -hmm. she said that she's there with that baby's father and they're just there in a rent. Okay. And she, she will just do, she told me she has been fetching water for building. Okay. So but she was separated with your father. They no longer live together. Okay. So who pays your school fee? My grandmother started to pay me here in intensive when I was in baby class. Okay. Up to P1. Then from there, my father said that he's taken me for holidays and then took me mm -hmm. up to now. Okay. He's done paying my school fees. Okay. It's fine. Can you take me to your grandma, Tell you, if it won't bring you trouble? Okay, okay, it's fine. Don't cry, it's okay. Try so. Let me see. Let me. The grandma also can give information about me. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Yes. So I'm going to talk to her. She does not stay at home. Okay. Every time she's there, she does not know about anything. It's fine, we'll, we'll just try. You take me to her. Does she speak English? So you're gonna help her. Wow, it's fine. Let's just go though. Guys, so let's meet you at the restaurant where the grandma is. So, guys, we were passing by on our way to the restaurant where Emanuela's grandmother is. And my instincts told me to ask her where the head teacher of intensive, if she could know where the head teacher of intensive primary. Uh, or intensive school academy, is it? If intensive academy is, because I saw him, I saw him, and then I was like, yeah, I saw him, and then I asked to get from that because I think kind of my instincts were telling me maybe he could be around. And then uh, Emanuela told me that he's seated over there, right? Some calm. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I've come to the office, actually, this is the office, and I'm right here. And uh, I want to introduce myself to him. So, sir, my name is Nancy. Yeah, call me Tom. All right, it's Tom. I'm the lady that you've been talking to from Kenya. Do you know any person you've been talking to from Kenya? I have a colleague friend there. Okay, yeah. colleague friend. There's this lady who was uh, paying Gertrude's school fee. Pay? Hey. Gertrude's school fee. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'm the one. <laughs> yes, wow. I'm the one. Sure. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Yeah. I've called you, but you haven't picked. Really? Yes. Yeah. I've called. I was at Gertrude's place, yeah. and then I was speaking to the aunt and everything, and then uh, I came here. I, uh, when I was still there, I gave you a call, but you didn't pick. Really? Yes, yeah, so <laughs> oh. you called? Yes, I did. There's no missed call? <laughs> I did. But it's fine. No problem. There's no call. Which number was that? Wow. Let's okay. see. Let me see. Where is the number? Eight five two thirteen one eight three. His. His. Yeah. Oh, that's the number that you gave me. That's the one that we've been communicating to you with. Yeah. 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 yeah that's his number. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know, it's you who gave me that. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Yeah. So I'm the lady who has been supporting Gertrude. I guess you know Gertrude. Gertrude? Yeah. Or are you new? No, I'm the deputy here for five years now. The deputy or the head teacher? The head teacher is my colleague. 
He's the head teacher. He's the head teacher. Oh, right. So I think he's the one that I've been speaking to. Yes. You're uh-huh. in Nancy? Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. You're so much welcome. Huh? Thank you. Yes. So I've called you and mm. uh, you didn't pick your phone. I was at Gertrude's place. Mm. Yesterday? Yeah. Right now. Right now? Yeah. Yeah, I left <laughs> the phone last in the office. Okay. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the number is entry 87. Yeah, yeah there's so a missed call. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. I left the phone here, but I went to eat uh, from outside there. Okay. Just for short time. It's fine. Yes, all right. Okay, so maybe it's fine. Just come closer if you want to Okay, mind. okay. Yeah. Yes. So I'm glad to meet you. Mm. Yeah, I'm okay. the lady you've been speaking to. Just yeah, you even told me you were supposed to organize for two teachers to do her coaching. Yes. But you didn't give me the feedback over the holiday. Mm. So I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, but. And the, also over the holidays, she never spent it here. Yeah, that's what she I've never been spent told. Her holidays here. Who is that? Got ready. In P3. Yeah. Hey. Ajiparu. Ajiparu. Yes. Hey, uh, that's how you call her? Ajiparu. <laughs> hey, she stays with this lonely person. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. So, so uh-huh. she even disappeared here as soon as we went for the holidays. I'm sure she went for her holidays just down the village. Uh, because okay. since then she has not been seen around. The whole of December, even the whole of Zan, yeah. which is ending today. Okay. I'm um, sure so it's easy. Uh, soon you report in here because the school will open next week on Monday. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Mm. Though I've talked to the aunt, and the aunt has told me that um, she sent her home that Gertrude became stubborn. Mm. I don't know how true this is. Many people are living here. Maybe you can give me the correct information. Okay. Because I'm just a, a, a lady who was sponsoring her. I was here in uh, July. Mm. I think I told you. I was here in July last year. Mm. And I met her when I went to Oriagini. Yes. That's when she told me. I, I started asking her. Like there were a group of three girls. Yes. Then... Uh, I, they came to greet me. I was seated outside the parish. Mm. They came to greet me and I asked them their names and if the grades that they are in. Mm. And when it came to her turn, she became emotional. Mm. So I wanted to get to know more about it. Why is she becoming emotional when I ask her her grade? Mm. Then she, we couldn't uh, communicate because of language barrier. Yes. But there's a lady called Brenda who was around. So I called her and she did the translation and also Father Basil. I don't know whether you know him. Mm. So they helped me and they told me that uh, the lady told them that she's separated. The parents are separated. Both living separately, I think they remarried and all that. Then she came to live with the aunt after co- before COVID, I think so. But then when COVID ended, she has not gone back to school. But then she wants to go back to school. So I thought maybe this is an opportunity for me to take her back to school because that's because um, that was what she wanted to do. So we opted for here because she was behind, yeah. you know. So primary wouldn't help as much. That's why we brought her here to this academy. And also I thought of getting her to a boarding school, but then I said, I, when I met her, I had like three days left in Uganda for me to live. So I couldn't get in touch with a good boarding school to take her. But then I said, maybe that one will sort out later. Yes. Yeah, so that's how she ended up here. Yeah. And she was brought here. Yeah. So right now I'm told she became stubborn, she had a boyfriend, she was sneaking out and all that. So I don't know. Right now, she's the aunt is not even sure of where she is. She went to live with another aunt, and uh, the aunt t- has told me she went. She took her everything, including her books. So that means maybe she's not coming back. Hey. So I'm stranded. I do not know what to do. You know. Okay. Yeah. But the fact behind this is that uh, when she was here with yes last time. Yeah. I think she was here, right? And she also uh, continued with us up to the end. Yeah. Yeah, but while, while at the school here with us, she was okay. Mm. Except uh, she could go home. Yeah. Uh, after our normal program here at school at the 6 because P3 class, they leave at the 6. Yeah. So when it says 6, they go home. Yeah. Yeah. But from home there, 
uh, we don't see what exactly happens. Okay. Uh, only that we get to see her behavior when she's at school there. Yeah. Yeah, because when you operate as a day scholar, yeah. uh, at the school we can uh, know of the full control. Mm -hmm. But the person at home is the parents to, to, to monitor. That is true. So if you see observed that she has been a bit headache and hectic in life with her there, mm -hmm. and uh, at least she should have informed the SS the administration. That would our child, our I child this yeah. is behaving bad. Yeah. But she did not do so. She didn't even inform me myself. Mm. I've, I've come and that girl, that's I've, the news. I've just started her as a very obedient child. Mm -hmm. mm. And she, she started just interacting with our pupils here during the first time. Yeah. They were playing just in this ground, this other free ground. Yeah. She could come and play together with them. Even as she was coming for admission, that was what we said with you over the phone. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah she has been interacting with them already, mm -hmm. and she was happy to join them yeah. also in the PTA class last year. But she completed the year well. She, ha she had a challenge in, the, in reading, the, in and, the reading yeah. and, the, and the English. Yeah, Actually, you told English me that. speaking, yeah. writing, and the reading with the understanding. Yeah. But the, <laughs> Little by little, she picked here. Mm -hmm. She also did in some areas well. Yeah. Even in, she passed the, 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 the promotional test mm -hmm. and she was promoted to P4. Okay. Yes. I don't know. I'm stranded, sir. Maybe. What would you advise me? Because uh, I really wanted that girl to, to be learn. in school. Yes. To be so around. the issue is you find where she is through the aunt. You find where she is through the aunt. Yeah. And they let her be brought back. She can also come and join us in 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 P4. Okay. Yes. But the issue now, the answer is uh, maybe I give her some time. Like the lady she's staying with doesn't have a phone. Maybe for me to reach her, I have to go through the aunt's mother, and that will take like three days or something. Okay. So I don't know. And how soon are you leaving? I'll be leaving Arua on um, Friday. On Friday? Yes. But uh, I'll be heading to Gulu and Kitgum. Mm. Yeah. Which means you are left with tomorrow. Yeah, for Just me to, to be in Arua. Yeah. Okay. And personally, I came to see her and see the requirements and everything mm. and to pay an exam fee and to ensure that she comes to school next week. Okay, but for us as administration, we thought that is a uh, went for holidays and because the schools are soon coming, she's soon coming on. So we didn't know about that, by the way. We are very sorry. And uh, you try to arrange this through the, the aunt. Yeah. And Maybe you involve one of us here. Yes. When she gives you clean information, clean information. Where then you can go as mm. your school administration yeah. with her consent. Then we go and get her for home. And where she's coming to reside, that's what we shall have to arrange. Okay. Yes. But now can she reside by herself? You know when let me let me say this. When maybe in a community there's some there's a, a girl or a boy who is going astray, the rumors or, or are spreads around. Yes. People get to know. Yeah. And uh, uh, there's a girl who told me, how is she called, uh, what's her name? Why am I forgetting her name? The one who is coming to join in uh, P7, Emanuela. Yeah. So, Emanuela doesn't, she just came recently, she told me that, but then she, she says, there are some of her friends there who know more about Gertrude, but they've declined speaking and maybe they may be taken to court. Yeah. So, yeah. So, <laughs> so. All along, we, we, we whenever new such issues are happening with that lady, that lady, I always see her coming to get this small boy. Yeah. She's actually taking care of. Yeah. While the mother is not there. Yes. But this issue, the mother actually, the the, 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 aunt. the, the aunt will have reported it. But he, all along, she never, never reported, reported such an issue to us here as administration. Maybe because you know, I always see. reported such an issue to us. We will yeah. be, we will we'll handle it. Items. We have even handled it. myself, I do not know anything. I'm in the dark, the way people are in the dark. I've just come to I know of it when I'm here. I? No, I'm not even in the dark. Exactly. Ready. What is the lessons between Gertrude and uh, Madam? She told me she's her aunt. She's her aunt. Yeah. From which side? 
I do not know. And yeah. that's even why I picked her because uh, personally she told me the lady is mistreating her somehow. Yeah. She was told to babysit instead of going to school. Even I quarreled with her over that. Yeah. There was time I went to her place, I told her, Shoni, this is a young girl. And will she continue staying like this or you have a plan of taking her to school? Yeah. She told me when things get better, she will be going to school. Yeah. And I was glad when I got appointed in my class. I don't know whether you were the one helping get ready. All along, she used to be the one bringing the school fees, other things. She used to be the, she used to be the one. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, when we are in trading center like this, yeah. everything is expensive, right? Yeah. She might have brought in that idea, idea of saying that Gertrude became astray, maybe due to challenges in yeah. finance sure. or not. So certainly we have not yet known it. Mm -hmm. So what I want is when we get back to Sony, let her give us give us a whereabout of this lady and pick her. If she is denied because there is no space for her, we look for space around. Yeah. So that let her at least get better knowledge. Yeah. What you have started for her, I think that will be even see seen through God and uh, mm -hmm. it will be paid back for. Mm. She changed the after that she sends people there. To Ch take care. She, yeah, mother, the aunt changed the people who have, who have been looking after the children. Uh -huh. She changed around two of them. I'm just seeing. Yeah. Uh, when we meet also like this, we don't show our normal characters. Eh? Sure. And our behaviors are always hidden when yeah. we meet outside. But there are, there are some um, correct characters of one which are there at home. Mm -hmm. So outside she talks well yeah yeah so we don't know what is there and if she, if she could report that one to us we would even bear her witness here yeah, such a thing happened now that that was yet young how, how yeah, she's, she's young and i was like how can a 14 year old not even, even I, I doubt whether she's 14. <laughs> like you can't control a 14 year old girl she says Gertrude leaves at five goes for these calls and comes the following day they, they, they sleep in the same they, they, they use the same door to sleep to get to get in how, how comes that girl is getting out where is the girl sleeping but she became stubborn she had a boyfriend living somewhere there now does it mean that if his son the boyfriend even gave if, get through the phone if he, if he, his son jordan gets a girl lover is that how she's going to handle what is your role of as being a guardian to a child if your child is going astray, there's a way you have to bring this child down and talk. You know, personally, I've been having challenges with her, even in terms of communication. Yeah. I would call her just to know how Gertrude is faring and how they are faring. Mm -hmm. In case there's anything they need, she can let me know and organize on how they can find it. Mm -hmm. But immediately I'll call her, she'll tell me I'm busy at work, call in the evening. When it comes to evening when I call, the call goes unanswered. So it became a challenge. That's why I even Are decided. These people, uh, from you met? Uh, so that get. Where did where did she say they are from? Lodonga. Lodonga, yeah, Lodonga. It is in Yume. Yeah. Yeah. For me, I don't even mind going there personally, yeah. looking for her and everything. It's only that I do not know this place. Yeah. Or maybe I can task you people to go. Yeah. Or even we can go together if it's possible because. Uh, I don't know. I'm not so sure about. I, don't, I even don't know. I'm, I'm stranded. I left there very stranded, okay. and I do not even know the way forward. Oh, forward. Maria, Maria, and Zeraba. Maria and Zera. I got a reporting order. Don't cut to You may force me to take you in now. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yes, that is the only option. Me and brother Roma phone We talked a lot. Me and brother Roma phone We talked a lot. <laughs> Sure. Okay. You have to put for me the shop number here. Yeah. Then as I go and interview the aunt, yeah. I will pretend as if I don't know. But I just want to know where this lady is. is. Yeah. And I will tap you. Okay. And this, uh, if I get the proper uh, location of her, mm -hmm. I think uh, that will be shall. But if we are going to do it as an interview for her, so we so will hide everything. Just <laughs> so It's all right. Was up. Ah, it's fine. You just got this lady when you came. You came for your own issue. Yes, I came on my own issues, and uh, here that, is that. 
somehow the aunt never wanted her to go to school. Yes. Because you told me that she came as a babysitter. As a babysitter. You know. So when she when she was taken to school, the aunt became against. The aunt became against her going to school. Yes. So that could be the reasons why the aunt is saying yeah. or oh, all these negative things or even the reason why the aunt sent her away to go stay somewhere else. Possibly. Yeah. Possibly. Because she ought to have even told me that Gertrude is this way, this way, this way and that, you know. Because yes. like someone who is who has taken her school responsibility, mm -hmm. I ought to have known before she sent her away. Yes. Yeah. And even as the teachers as you have said, it's just a few meters. It's very near. And even if, it's even sub less than it is less than fifty meters. Sure. And it's yeah. surprising that people don't have information. Like I'm the person who has brought information yeah. to you. Yeah, all the way from Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's sure. it's true that she wasn't happy yeah. that the girl got back to school. Truly. Yeah. It's because yeah. she was her babysitter. She came as a babysitter. Yeah. Yeah. That is the that, that, that is the fact. Eh? Okay. Yeah. It's all right. Mm. Okay, sir. So thank you. Yes. Um, yeah. I'll leave. I'll leave everything into you. Mm. You have this. You get your soda. You and your deputy. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. We'll keep in touch. Yes. At least now I'm having some light. Yes. By then I left the place very stranded because I didn't know where to start from. Okay. And even how to get to her. Yes. But at least you've given me some information and yeah. you're going to take it up. Exactly. I'll really appreciate it. Truly. Yeah. Thank you so much. Eh? I appreciate it. We are going to take it upon ourselves yeah. to see that we are successful in this mission. All right. And soon really come back and get back to school. Sure. Yes. Yeah. That's our cry. True. First, we thought that she went for her holidays to the village yeah. and is soon coming because the school opens on Monday. Yeah. But I'm very, very, very disappointed to have had such information. Yeah. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. So in case you you succeed in finding her, yes. we look for alternative way of, com of accommodation. Yes. And also, as you go look for her, yeah. it's possible you yes. can get in contact with her mother. Exactly. So that once she gets into our hands, mm -hmm. the aunt doesn't come to disappear. Yeah. Sorry, to this uh, this uh, what? Uh, to, inter to, to interfere. interfere. Sorry, yes. doesn't come to interfere. And Be secondly, when we get that one, yeah, the next move we shall do is also to link you to their home, and sure. we shall make you to have access to the parents, True. the mother herself, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, that is better. That's okay. Sure. So mm -hmm. the parent will know that I'm the person who is behind the child's education, yeah. and all that. Yes. But if I, I I don't think the mother can be against the child going to school. The mother can't. So I think it's just the aunt who was jealous that now yeah. the girl is going to school and all that. Yes. It's fine. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you too. You're welcome. We'll keep in touch. Exactly. All right. Yeah. Thank we wish you. you the best. Yeah. Thank you. Exactly. All right. So my name is Milton. Yeah. You I told haven't told you, I think, my name. You told me over the phone. Okay. Yes. You have, you have, also, you have also recorded it, yeah? Yes, it's recording. Yeah, it's yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I guess you know me, I'm Nancy. I, I don't forget that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't forget. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, but it is a very good pleasure that we have seen each other today. Sure. Yeah. True. Okay. It's all right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. Where is Oh, she's here. Sorry, we've kept you. <laughs> I, I feel like I keep finding me to hear that Gertrude is not in school and she's not around. So we've kept that border guy waiting. You see? Are you seeing him? <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh. But it's all right. Let's just complete all this and see. Guys, I think you've had the information. And uh, now I tend to believe what the school is saying more than what they are saying. Yeah. But let's hope she's found and then she gives the clear information of what's happening, you know. It's fine. Let's get to get to sorry to what's her name? How do you forget it? Emanuela's grandma. Alright, wow. Kinda I'm seeing some light. But when I left the aunt. I know you are really super disappointed. But it's fine. Alright. Hi, Mari.
Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So guys, we're finally back to the city. We we are from Wandi, and uh, this is how the city looks like. This is the main highway of uh, Arua town. This one right here is the main highway. And right now we are heading to Christ the King. It's just some few meters ahead of us. And uh, guys, actually, I feel so much disappointed. Like, I'm very, very much disappointed. And just a minute. Let me bring this uh, back this side. Oops, Jesus. Let me bring it this side. And then I talk to you. Can I help you? You want to help me? It's, it's okay. So guys, actually we are heading to Christ the King. We are along the main highway of Arua. And uh, personally, I'm very disappointed. Why? Do you know why I'm disappointed? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, Maureen knows why I'm disappointed. Maybe Maureen can tell you. Actually, I'm disappointed. It's double disappointment. Let Maureen tell you what happened. Why am I disappointed? Though? Part of how you're disappointed because of one of the young girls you are given up behind. Yeah. And in reaching there, unfortunately, we didn't find her. Yeah. There's a lot of thing, a lot of stuff about her. Yeah. I don't know whether they are true, but still to find her. Yeah. Uh, secondly, we met a new girl also. She is around 12 years. Yeah. She's called Manuela. So Manuela was really actually she impressed us a lot, you know. Yeah. When we read there she was the very first person who welcomers her and she knows how to speak good English. Sure. So she was a big help. And then from there as you see, us also pick an interest in our wow. mm -hmm. impression was super cool. Especially like maybe first go meet her grandma and then you see if you can help her out. Yeah. Reaching there was we are told the mess, you know. Mm -hmm. The grandma. To make it worse, to make the matter worse, she don't know English. She just not only that so far. Yeah. So you know translating. We can walk you know? side because of the noise. Yeah. Yeah. So I that Manuela she was the one translating what yeah. we what we discussed she translated to our grandma and then from our grandma back to us. Yeah. So I think the grandma was not really, you know mm, she was not like comfortable with us. Yeah. Yeah. So from there we left we tried to make her understand though. Yeah. But she felt completely understand. Yeah. Sure. And then we head back to the school, to that school. I don't, I forgot the name of the school anyway. Uh, one deep uh, intensive school. Yeah. Yeah. So we went there. The grandma did only stop. We them. are we are getting in here. So guys, this is the Christ the King. That's the chapel or the church, and uh, the hotel is right here. We are going to the restaurant. We're going to have our lunch right here. Yeah. Back to me. Yes, back to you. <laughs> so, I think the grandma, she didn't only stop there though. Yeah. She followed us up to the school. Where can you see? Right over, where? over here. Guys, so we're here. Double disappointment. Oh, it's fine. So the grandma followed us, followed us to the school. Yeah, and uh, we couldn't speak with her much because personally I don't understand Lubara, and uh, Maureen too doesn't understand Lubara, but she understands a few words. So we went back to the head teacher, told the head teacher of how the girl has impressed us. Personally, I was very much impressed with the girl. How are you? You're fine. Uh, kindly, you can get me water in the meantime. Big one. It's fine. Bring then you bring with two glasses. Okay, that was the waitress right there. So, 
I told the teacher, this, this, this girl has impressed me with how fluent she is speaking English and uh, personally, my first impression of her was like, she gave us the top-notch impression and uh, I was really impressed and I said, this girl seems to be bright, whether she seems to be a very bright girl. So I told the teacher that I've gone to speak to the grandma. Actually, I wanted to chip in and I don't have money, but then sacrificing for a girl child to go to school won't make me go, go won't make me go, how do you call it, go hungry or something. And personally for a girl who is interested in school, the way Manuela is, leave alone. I'm not so sure about um, Gertrude's case, but then the head teachers was, the, the school said it could be the aunt is saying all sorts of bad things that the girl cannot go to school because she was brought in as the caregiver to the kids. So when she was, when I took her to school, the aunt never wanted. So that's why she piled all negative things about her so that she can be taken out of that place. So I can't reach her, and that will also make her not to go to school. That is a case that the teachers have promised to follow up, and I'm happy for the step that they've taken. But for Emanuela, she's one girl that I've seen is so passionate about school and about learning. So sacrificing a few coins for her, actually I told the mom that I'll chip in and give her like half, not the full fee, because financially I'm not that good, but sacrificing for her to get, the, to get half fee, or even the feeding fee, so she doesn't go back home, she stays in school, because she's going to sit for her national examinations this year. I tried explaining the, that to the uh, grandma, but the grandma wasn't comfortable. And let me tell you when it, yeah, it's fine, thank you. When uh, Emanuela heard that, she began crying. Emanuela was crying, and she has made me so emotional. The girl has cried. When she heard me say that now I won't do anything concerning her case because the grandma isn't comfortable with it. So as we were leaving, the grandma followed us back to the school, called Emanuela, and from the tone of how she was talking to her, I think she's just, she was quarreling her. Yeah, she was calling her. So as we were leaving, Emanuela wanted to talk to us, but the grandma never wanted her to talk to us. So she began crying. I went to the grandma, we could, I couldn't talk to her, but I told her, I told Emanuela, because we could uh, communicate with Emanuela, I told her to listen to the grandma, whichever thing the grandma wants her to do, let her do it. And finally for me, the female teachers of that school were also around, and they couldn't intervene. And personally it seemed like, I don't know, but I, 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 I saw them like they're so naive, I'm sorry to say that. Uh, I, saw, I, I saw a different picture of the teachers, not like who a teacher is supposed to be. I saw a totally different picture of who the ladies were trying. For the head teacher and his deputy, yes, they're doing their role. But then for the female teachers who were there, the three of them, I just saw a different picture. I'm a teacher and they don't act like teachers. I'm sorry to say that. So as we were leaving, Manuela told us to wait for her, she can talk. I told her, no, just listen to your grandma, whatever your grandma is telling you, listen to her, and uh, are there to read. So she was saying, please wait for me, I want to tell you something, and the border had come, and the grandma doesn't want her to talk to us. She began crying loudly. And when the grandma saw that, she took a what? A stick, and started beating her, like beating her in front of us. My heart was broken. My heart was broken, but I couldn't do anything. I went and stood midway between her and the grandma, and I told the grandma not to cane her. But then as we were leaving now, she had the chance to beat her, so we left her punishing Emanuela, and that has really broken my heart, sincerely. I'm heartbroken, it's double disappointment. Whew. But it isn't that I was going to support her fully, no. It's just some little, little 
uh, some few coins because I think at the moment I would but need supporting her fully the way uh, we are doing to Gertrude. But I was also thinking maybe if Gertrude's case doesn't bow, doesn't bear sorry doesn't bear positive results, then the money we were channeling to Gertrude we could channel to Emanuela instead. You know that is what was on, in my head because it's still a long process and we do not know how it will turn out. You know, so I was thinking if it doesn't turn out well. We channel this money that we were channeling to get through, we get it to Emanuela. But then the grandma doesn't understand anything. And the teacher saw an opportunity. And the teacher came and said, I wish you could give me that support to support my siblings. So I'm also torn between still pursuing Emanuela in case Gertrude's case fails, or we channel these funds to the head teacher's siblings as he requested. So, I don't know, I'm disappointed, sincerely I'm disappointed, very, very much disappointed. <laughs> Pass, and when, when the fact that when we were leaving, the, the grandma was beating that girl, it broke my heart, sincerely. I'm heartbroken. But then Emanuela was like, contact my dad, find the, talk to my dad. But anyway, kindly advise me in the comment section. What do you people think? I loved Emanuela because of how bright she is. And the story she gave us, I think you guys have watched the video from the beginning. She's also from a, a broken family. The dad and mom are separated, you know. So it kind of relates to Gertrude's story. That's why I wanted to fix her, fix her uh, just in case Gertrude's story fails then I pick her instead of Gertrude now. And then the grandma, I don't know. Just advise me in the comment section, guys. All right, we are here. We want to have our lunch. We've uh, asked for some water because it has been very, very hot and very whatever. So guys, let me just end the video right here. And kindly don't fail to leave a comment. Just leave a comment in the comment section. Advise me. Kindly, I need your advice, please. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, adios.